So check it out. I got all of the Ice River KSO Pros and the Pro, which I got there, to work. I fixed them all. All of them, finally, I got them to fix. I didn't think I was going to fix this one, because this is the one that was missing. The 16 uh, capacitors, but I was going to use it for spare parts. I started removing parts there to fix the other ones, which I did, and I pretty much gave up on it, but I decided to all right, let me just try to fix it. And I did. <laughs> it was like a miracle. This one, because this one was missing 16 capacitors, right? Which uh which I added. So I had to find out. The hardest thing was like, you know, trying to find out the values, how to take another one off and get the value of those two types. It was actually two sets of types of capacitors. And I had to um, put in two MOSFETs for it also. Uh, and three, uh, what is it? Uh, other, um, what is it? Tatalum ca capacitors, I believe. Something like that. I had to add three of those. And I had to add six LDOs chips as well. That were blown out, which start the, the ASIC chips. I took all of that and I think maybe I might have missed one or two things and with all of that I got it to run it's like it was like a miracle when it started when it started it was like a miracle but I got all of them to to work this one I got the internet to work I had to add an ethernet I'm slobbing over here an ethernet chip to this one got that to work and this one was another mess, but not as bad as that. This one, uh, I had to add a, a MOSFET on this one, which one wasn't that bad though, because um, it pretty much was dead. There was no power, absolutely no power. So I added a MOSFET on this one that was burnt out. And this one was the one that supposedly it was it wasn't working. All I did was all I had to do was like update the software. Well, that's what I did. Updated the software, the firmware, and it just worked, you know. So, pretty got pretty much got these for a low low price, like hundred, like two hundred, I think two hundred, another hundred, something like that. So I, I fixed them. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's not that easy when you're working with these uh, microscopic. Uh, components you know in there you know you, you know it takes skill honestly it takes skill to solder that stuff you know I made a lot of little mistakes and stuff you know but I got them to work and they fully all all of them are fully hashing away so and I got these guys which I fixed these I got them off though these two dogecoin uh, miners actually I'm getting two more but I'm getting the the, the the um, Goat Shell uh, Mini Doge, they're number two, right? No, no, the Pro, Pro ones. I'm getting two of those that are coming in. I got those for about 100 and change each. You know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to just grab them anyway, you know. I mean, they're not profitable right now, but um, I grabbed them anyway, you know, to have them. And this, this one, too, I fixed this one, a CK box. Shelf. This one works, and I got a KD box that also it's fixed. Okay, so all these four I fixed these. The only one I didn't fix was this one. This one was the one that I also gave up on. This one, and said um, I'll just use it for parts, you know. But I'm, you know, thinking about it, I might try to work with it and get it running. I mean, it, it powers up, but it's just not connecting. But um. I have to go over a couple of things though to try to see if I can get this one connecting. Plus, it also needs a, a what um, what do you call it card in there? Oh, not a hash board. The other one, the other board, control board. It needs a control board because I destroyed the other one. I took it. Uh, uh, used some. I took it apart, practicing. Well, it was not good, but I well, I needed something to to practice on um, pulling some. Um, components out of and stuff like that so I, I 
I sacrificed that. You know, I probably could have fixed it if I would have tried. But it doesn't have a control board. But uh, the hash board needs work. And I could probably, like I said, I could probably get it up and running. You know, and then, you know, then to source the components and stuff, you know, it's not that easy to get these parts and components. You got to do a lot of research, a lot of searching all over the place to try to get them. And they all come, they take a long time to come. They come from China, so it takes weeks, weeks. You're looking at weeks for, for the components that you're finding them. But, I, you know, of course, I, every time I ordered, I ordered a bunch more, you know, extra ones, you know. And... And that's pretty much it. So I got these hashing away, stacking up that Casper, and I will be turning these back on these Dogecoin ones because I want to get Casper, Dogecoin, and Bitcoin. Bitcoin I've been buying, but uh, I'm really focusing on <laughs> honestly uh, Casper and Dogecoin. Those are my two ones. But you know, I'm not gonna get every damn coin. But those are the ones I'm really focusing on. I'm gonna stay focused on those and I do have 10 master nodes but I'll probably end up um, getting rid of those as well I'm not sure but right now I'm gonna leave it the way it is so that's pretty much it right now and uh, I will be getting I think like I said in a couple of days two of these I'm also getting another miner as well I forgot which one oh it, it was a uh, uh, Library one, LBY, LBRY, something like that. I'm getting another one of those. That one's coming in tomorrow. And uh, I believe it works though, but I got it for real cheap, about maybe 40 bucks. So, you know, got a good deal. So I, I just didn't want to let it go. But that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later on the next one. And I am out. Peace. Laters.